Hi YouTube, it's Josette. Um, I haven't made a video in pretty much forever. Um, well, I guess not forever. Just a little, like, month and a half or so. Anyways, I am back finally making a video. I have been so busy with school and just trying to maintain my grades and college essays, college, like, applications, just all sorts of things that go with senior year. So, I have been a busy person, so I have not made any videos recently. Um, I really should be, but I haven't been. So, um, I guess since my last video, which I haven't looked to see when my last one was, but it was a while ago, I haven't, I, I guess I had just got my first fill. And after my first fill, I didn't lose any weight, I didn't feel any restriction or anything once swelling went down or, or whatnot. Um, so I just... I was kind of, I wasn't in the green zone yet or anything, um, so I was just myself. So I gained four pounds during that time. Actually, I think I gained more pounds. I don't know. I forget what my last weight was. But anyways, I, my current weight is 260. Um, after I got my first fill... I really didn't do too much of like going to the gym or I dieted and I watched what I ate but I was just so busy and everything was hectic and school and I was tired trying to maintain my grades and just all the things that I had to do so I don't want to make an excuse but that is my excuse and it's not a good one but well, I guess it's kind of good one. I don't know. But anyways, I haven't been doing what I should be doing. So all the weight gain was my fault and not the fault of my feel that was not, was not enough. Um, so yesterday, which was Friday, um, what was the day yesterday? The 15th, I got my second fill, so went down, flew into San Diego, went over to get my second fill, and he put in two and a half cc's, which, I, actually I should say, I had five cc's in my band already, so when I went over, he put in two and a half cc's when I did the barium swallow, and the liquid went through, but then he told us to go out and get something to eat and see how my restriction was then and so we went out to eat and I couldn't get anything down so seven and a half cc's was too much so um, like I literally could not get anything down I took two bites of my chicken thing that I got and it was just like nope 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 it will not go down at all so we went back to the clinic and I got half a cc removed and then I did the drain the barium swallow or whatever so that put my band back at seven and so then we went back to San Diego and I like I didn't eat for several hours and then at noon, we went and got Vietnamese food, and I got lemongrass chicken, and lo and behold, they gave you a plate with about this much chicken on it, a pile of chicken this high, so, I mean, fairly good amount, uh, and each chunk of chicken was like this big you know that big to that big so I ate two of the big like flat chunks and three small ones and I had one uh, square of fried tofu 
And that was what I could eat. That was the maximum level, but I didn't feel any <clears throat> uh, productive burping or whatever, what have you. Um, so that was good. I just knew I had to stop because that was too much food. And if I knew, I knew that if I ate more food, it would be coming up. So I think I reached a good fill level because that was, I ate less than a third of the plate, but I also had that piece of fried tofu. I had a drink before my meal. I had a drink and everything. So I think, I think I got it a pretty good fill level. Um, and then later that night, or later that day, I had a Think Thin um, bar, which is these protein bars, 20 grams of protein, no sugar, and 240 calories, so not too bad. Um, I had that, and then a little while later, I had a apple ginger kale juice from the juice bar at the San Diego Whole Foods which is amazing and so so that kind of kept me like over it held me over for until dinner which was around eight I would say um because we went shopping and everything so dinner was around eight and we went to Thai food and I got Thai red curry and I was able to eat like not much of it just about just um I guess I would say probably the ideal amount that a lap band person can eat probably it was the size of less than a cup but more than it's probably about Uh, I would guess I would say actually just about a cup of food. So I thought that was good. They said you should be eating a cup. And I've been doing my chewing several times during that dinner, though. I did not chew as thoroughly as I should, as people have said that you should. And I suffered the consequences. It was very uncomfortable. And I think that was my first productive burp. Not fun. Not in the middle of a restaurant not fun. So, I have been chewing my food very, very slowly and setting my fork down in between bites. And so, that has been working for me. But, um, so that's kind of how my food intake has gone since I got my fill yesterday. Um, so I guess... I don't know, I didn't, and now I guess, I didn't really think about how I, like, should feel with the lap band before when I got my first fill. I was just like, I got my first fill and I didn't have any restriction and no one would believe me that I didn't have enough restriction. They just thought, oh, nope, you're just eating too much. Nope, you're, you're just not trying. You're just not, you're just eating too much. And so it was kind of annoying because it's like... I don't feel like I was eating too much at all. Like, I mean, I guess I could eat more than I could eat more than before the placation, like before I had the placation taken out because it's my regular size stomach and then no band there. So, I mean, I could eat a lot. And then one day we went to Chipotle and I got a burrito bowl from Chipotle and I was able to eat the whole burrito bowl and if any of you have been to Chipotle their burrito bowls are big and filled and they're big so I was able to eat an entire burrito bowl and then she finally got oh maybe she didn't have enough of a fill so then we called to schedule my next fill appointment but I just I don't know it was kind of frustrating that people just wouldn't understand that hey I don't have enough fluid in my band yet so I need to go get more but now that I have got more and I've been eating for two days it feels like it's the right amount and uh 
so that's pretty much what has been going on. This is kind of a shabby update. I just kind of decided to do it right now. Like just like two minutes before this, I was like, I'm just going home. And then I started making a video. So that is why it is pretty scrambled right now. Um, just gonna, actually I should talk about my gym use, I guess. I don't know. I haven't been going to the gym lately. Shame on me. I need to start going to the gym. But I did enroll in a beginner's dance class. So I've been doing that. And that's been pretty fun, even though I'm like the least agile and oldest person in the class. It's still been fun. I've just been trying to get active in ways that are more fun instead of, well, I need to go to the gym every day. But I hope that feeling this new restriction and stuff uh, will give me more motivation because my motivation's been lacking and I need to find it. But I've just been making the excuse, oh, I'm too busy. Oh, I have school. I'm really tired. I have to do homework. And yeah, I have to do homework. But I also have to go to the gym. So I need to be better about my going to the gym. And also my dieting. I need to... A lot of times with school it's like... Oh well. I had a long day at school. I'm too tired to go home and cook food. Too... Too tired. I just have to do my homework. And if I do my... If I cook myself dinner... It'll take an hour and a half, and then I will have to not do my homework or stay up really late to do my homework. So, trying to find a balance between going to the gym, cooking for myself, and doing my homework. That's been my struggle, but I'm hoping that I my next goal is to drop five pounds and get back down to 255 and I hope to do that in three weeks so uh, um, I'll try to make an update I'll try to keep doing these updates because school has kind of evened out and regulated and so everything's kind of going a little smoother now so I think I'll be able to make more updates and videos so thanks to you guys that keep watching, um, and this is my update, and oh, I guess I am three months post-op, three, three months, yeah, no, four months, four months post-op, so a long time. No weight loss, but I guess it said it takes people sometimes six fills or three fills to get their ideal restriction. So it's got to keep plugging and going. So thank you guys. Bye.